Hey guys, this is Lumi Appade and let's take a look at Rail Planner. This is the official app from National Rail Inquiries. So this is the main screen. It's all Panorama Metro. This would list your upcoming departures if, as you'll see later, if we list some stations to which we would depart from. And you can go ahead and plan a journey from here. And these are usual departures, near station, which is pretty cool. So if you click on that, that will bring up whatever the station is closest to you. And you can click this for next train home. That will depart from that station, which is closest to us. And you can see on the right, it will tell you if there are at all any changes. There shouldn't be. And because the next station to Manchester Piccadilly is not that far, you can see right there it's got notifications that the service has been delayed, so that's cool. You know it, where your train is, why you should be waiting for it or not. You can go ahead and click out earlier or later journeys. Uh, it found my home station because we've set it here, so you can set it to anything. So if we set Swansea as my home station, and again click next train home, it would plan from the station that you're at to your home station, and you'll see it's updated this time, tell me however many changes there might be. So this one has two changes. If we click on that, it'll tell you quite nicely what the actual service is. You've got the Northern, Arriva Trains, Wales, First, and it also tells you what platform. So that's pretty cool when you're arriving at a station that you might not be familiar with, you know precisely what platform you need to go to to switch to the next train. And at the top it tells you when it arrives, and when, no sorry, when it departs and when it arrives, total duration and the number of changes. So by default we would have to have at least one change because we're going to be going into Manchester Piccadilly. Now for some reason all the trains back to Wales are going into Newport. You can list up some departures which you use frequently. So just click add and set the stations. You can have your recent stations which you're using frequently and favorites. We haven't put any favorites yet. The ones nearest to you and this will use your current position and it will tell you <coughs> all the stations and telling you how close they are in terms of miles. So that's pretty useful. And all. And then you can go ahead and just search. Let's search for Liverpool. And that's there already. Uh, let's go to Cardiff. And let's let's say we go there every weekend. At at this time, we'll just leave that. I'll hit back. And if there were any upcoming departures, it, it would be listed there. Um, Let's try and plan a journey. One that I'll be going tomorrow because we're checking out some houses in Preston. Going from. No, actually, we're going from Oxford Road, I think. So let's type in Oxford Road. Manchester Oxford Road. To swipe over, get Preston, Lancashire should finish the first couple the first uh, anatomy session by about 11 take about 20 minutes to get to the station let's say we'll get there for 11.30 and we're going tomorrow change that to Thursday do a quick search and this would most likely be 
the best journey. Or you can go ahead as usual, check up all the other journeys. This is just a single journey with no change. We can click on that. That tells us what's that actually say? Trans Pennine. Sorry, I couldn't read that. And tells you that will take 44 minutes, zero changes. That will be from platform two. That in itself is, I'm thinking, pretty useful because the amount of times that I'm always going to station and asking what platform it is. So uh, that saves a little bother. Something that's really nice is you can pin it to the home screen, so you don't have to keep on searching for that actual for that actual um, journey. This is one I did earlier. This is possibly the more correct one, and you can see the tiles are flipping around. It's telling you this is from Manchester Piccadilly to Preston, but actually what I'd pref what I'd actually need is Manchester Oxford to Preston, and all I do is click on that, and it brings this straight up. And if there were any delays, as you saw before, it will show up there. There's a little home button. It's quite useful. Brings you back to the main app. You can go ahead and check out any of the planned journeys. What else haven't I showed you? I'll actually... Let me look up any other features from... Rail Planner. So this is, let's see what they've got. New in version 2, faster switching, pin journey plans and live departure borders to your phone's start screen. Search for stations using three letter codes. Uh, share journeys and plans quickly via email, that's cool. New stations including, yeah, uh, general bug fixes. Uh, this is Rail Planner, high quality UK rail information app. Da -da -da. And this is extremely highly rated by a lot of people. It is quite expensive for about four ninety nine, and I initially thought that's crazy. Why why would I ever pay that much? And maybe you might you might still think so even after checking out this up uh, the, the our demo. But I think it's worth it. The amount of times I've actually had to call up National Rail to see where the train is from the station. Um, and uh, or possibly having to go to the information desk and having to ask them information on where the train is, what platform it is. I think this just makes it more convenient, especially if you're on the train, you can actually track your journey. You can just use Drive to see where you are on the map and at what points you should be at with uh, this application. So yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and uh, Try that change of home station again. Let's say our home station is now Preston, as it will be next year because all the, well, a third of the med students from Manchester third year are being shipped off to Preston. I'm going my home screen. That's there at the top because it's quite useful for me. And now you can see some up upcoming. Uh, trains to Preston to tell me that's on time and you can see a live progress which is that that is pretty cool so you can see precisely where the train is and precisely what stop it's at and at what time I want to save this And again, you can go there, you can get these updates by clicking on My Departures. And these would be departures that you'd make often, and you can choose what days you make that. And you can set the update to this departure only and the next departure at that time.
take a look at settings. Use location services, show detailed information, and yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing there's nothing to change from settings. Everything just just works, so this this would need an internet connection by the way, as it is pulling up live data from national rail inquiries. But there is no cost other than the price of the app itself. Okay, thanks for watching guys. That was Rail Planner, demoed on the Nokia Lumia 800.